All right, we're here with uh, country music star Tenille Arch. She's coming to town on Saturday to Pocatello to the Port of Wellness Amphitheater, or as we call it, the Port. So <laughs> welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? I'm doing so well. How are you doing? Oh, you know, it is a beautiful day. Can't complain too much. Well, we appreciate you taking some time. We just want to get to know you a little bit better. Uh, let's start by what really, uh, when did you get bit by the country music singing songwriting bug? And how did you uh, break into the business? Yeah, I mean, it all started years ago. I mean, I think I was eight years old when I um, first started singing country music. I grew up loving it, um, but really started singing and performing uh, when I was like eight years old. Um, you know, country music was really popular where I'm from. I'm originally from a small town in Canada. And uh, sometimes people don't realize how popular country music is up there, but it's very popular. And so I just loved it. And I, I started um, writing my own music when I was like 14 years old. Uh, made my first trip to Nashville when I was 15 and just have basically been going at it since then. Um, yeah, from the time I was 15 until I was 21, I was going back and forth and then moved to Nashville at 21 and the rest has just been an unfolding. <laughs> so when you say country music in Canada, probably the first name that comes up is probably Shania Twain, right? Yes. I mean, she was definitely a major um, influence on me and just inspiration, you know, her coming from a small town, going to Nashville. I just kind of wanted to do the same thing. I was like, there's no real country music hub in Canada. So I wanted to be in Nashville. <laughs> and so let me know a little bit about your approach to songwriting, because, uh, you know, it's very unique to every individual. Tell me what really motivates you or inspires you in when you're writing a song. I mean, everything really inspires me. I'm, usually I'm drawing from my own life, um, whatever I've been through, or, you know, you can go back years and years and years and, and you know, still not cover everything in your life um, with songwriting, but I definitely write from my own personal experience. And then also just people around me, you know, friends and family, if they're going through things or, um, you know, if we have a great time out, there's, there's just like lots of different things that you can write about. So I always try to just draw from real life inspiration. Now, you've been racking up the frequent flyer miles. You've been overseas. Tell me about your trip. Uh, man, you went to Dublin. You went to England. Tell me how that worked out for you. Yeah, um, it was incredible. I kind of did like a little um, headlining tour over there, which I've, I've never done before, but that was my fourth time uh, performing overseas and um, loved every minute of it. You know, those fans are incredible. They don't get a lot of country music. So uh, when you do come to town, they're very excited. They want to be there. Um, so I had a great time. And then um, actually right after that, we flew over to um, Bahrain and Kuwait to play for our soldiers over there. And uh, it was an incredible experience. It was like 140 degrees um, Fahrenheit. Wow. <laughs> so uh, we were dying every day, um, but it was so great. We, um, yeah, we, we loved every second of being over there. And uh, that overseas tour, you kind of brought back something with you. What's on your finger? You got tattooed <laughs> over there? Yeah. This was from my, actually, my one of my first trips over there. Uh, okay. so let it be. I got it when I was in London. I'm a huge Beatles fan. So um, I figured, you know, when in London, I should uh, get a tattoo. So yeah, it's still <laughs> out there. It still hasn't faded. So I'm good. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Now, uh, when you come to Pocatello on Saturday night, what can people expect when they go to a Tennille Arts concert? Uh, it's very high energy. Um, we we love to play songs that people want to hear. Um, we've got a few really fun covers and medleys and things that um, are great. You know, we take people all the way back to the 90s, some of my biggest inspirations and, and just songs that I loved from back then. So we kind of have all of that. And then we have a lot of the songs from... Um, from my new album called Girl to Girl. So we're just kind of, it's a mixture of all the things, but we're definitely there to have a good time. So I hope people come ready for that. All right, well, fantastic. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk with us uh, today. Um, once again, Tenille Arts coming to The Port, Portneuf Amphitheater, and the tickets are still on sale. Come out and have a good time. And we look forward to just kind of, you know, having a great musical night with Tenille Arts. Thank you so much. Thank you, I'll see you there. <laughs>